Dear children of the earth, we greet you. Once again, we will return to your approach to the new earth. Yes, we speak of this so often so that you understand that the times you have lived in over the last few years and millennia are now over. We repeat, they are over. What do we mean by the word over? For months and months we have been telling you, all of you, that it is going to be important to let go of everything that was the old one. Materialism, earthly power of any kind, political, at work, in the family, etc. Yes, power will no longer be necessary in a very short time. At least the power as you know it and which muzzles you, restrains you and prevents you from living a free and happy life. But are you going to say to yourselves, if there is no more power through laws, authorizations of all kinds, prohibitions to do this or that, it will be panic, total disorder in our countries. Hmm. We tell you, this is what you think and believe, but everything is going to be set up in such a way that total disorder does not exist. We are not saying that in a certain period of the transition that you were living through, there will be no disorder because your rulers will no longer know how to govern your countries. But what we mean is that progressively everything will be transformed in your lives and in the lives of your countries. First of all, there will be an awakening in the education of children in school. Humans who understand that life is not about learning what Neanderthal man was like, nor about learning in detail about the lives of your ancient kings or queens of past times, they will turn the education of children in schools upside down because everything will begin in the schools at a very young age. These humans will create, install within the schools, groups of children supervised by men and women who have understood that the life as it is taught is a total error. The children will learn about earth, about nature. They will experience encounters with plants and trees, with the seas and oceans. They will learn about the importance of the different fish at the bottom of the seas and oceans. They will learn about the enormous importance of whales, dolphins and others in the oceans. They will learn about the connection they have always had with these marine mammals and the connection they still want to have with humans. As the children learn this, which will happen soon, humanity will take a great leap forward into the new earth. You will see your children happy to be alive, smiling, welcoming life with happiness. The deep unhappiness that many children are experiencing now will gradually fade and all will become uniform to create the new humanity. You will say, yes, that is all very nice, but when will it happen? That makes us smile, because humans always want to go very fast, but wanting to go very fast can lead to a fall so we say to you, have confidence. As we have already told you in many messages, you are currently in the purification. Not only 
of the earth, but also of your own beings. You cannot enter a grand space of pure light without having taken an energetic shower that deeply stirs your cells and minds. Trust what you are experiencing now. For the older ones of you on the earth level, it is a great experience of trust, letting go, awareness. Of course, for those of you who are between 50 and 60 years old and more, it is very delicate to live this purification because since your childhood you have been educated with totally inane ways of living, thinking and believing. Dear children of the earth, know that you are not abandoned. You are under our daily and constant protection. We see to it that the sleeping humanity that you were awakens under the effect of multiple electroshocks that are presented to your lives and to the lives of the countries and continents of planet Earth. In spite of all the upheaval that you are experiencing, have no doubt that you are rising into the new earth of light and peace. But, for yes, there is a but, you have to share the work. You have your share of work to do within you to understand yourself to recognize yourself as a divine being and to live in humility. Humility does not mean living in poverty, but being aware of your qualities and also of your faults to be improved, of your ways of being towards others around you and towards nature as a whole. Dear children of the earth, we love you and accompany you with great tenderness and joy. This message was channeled by Marie Jose Andichou and it was read for you by Adriana.